What's up guys, welcome back to another one of our videos. Today we're gonna to be talking about how much it cost for me to rebuild my car right here. This is a 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX and I just did a full engine rebuild on it because I spun a bearing. If you haven't seen any of those videos, we'll have a playlist at the top, so go check those out so you can see what happened to this car. But today we're gonna to be going over how much it cost for me to do everything to get this back up and running. It took a total of five months, so today we're gonna go over each piece and how much it cost I'm gonna tell you guys the whole thing, all of it will be in the description, so you guys can know what I had to spend to get this car back up and running. So we're gonna start with the motor mods, obviously, that's the whole rebuild. So first things first, I started with a short block from Flatirons Tuning in Colorado, and that cost me $1,900, I believe it was. And that came right from Colorado. They got it right from Subaru. And it was a brand new OEM 205 short block. So after the short block, I had looked at a couple other options and ended up going with a set of rebuilt heads from Broken Boxer Repair. They are, they're great. Go check them out. We'll have their link in the description. A lot of good stuff from them. I got a pair of rebuilt heads for 450. Great quality, really nice and clean. And uh, I actually gave them the block too after so they could mount them right to the heads, put a couple extra pieces on there for me, saved me some time, which is really awesome. They did great work and have it all put together for me when I had to come pick it up. Next, I just started to upgrade my oil pump with an 11 millimeter OEM uh, EJ25. That was $180 from aminotech.com. Obviously for this whole rebuild process, I needed to get a new timing belt and a new water pump. So I picked up a whole kit from Import Image Racing, which was $221. And uh, obviously that's on the car now. It's a very good quality kit. It's the Gates kit. So I'll go check that out. We'll also have their link in the description. All the, all the parts will be down there with links so you guys can get that if you're looking to get that. So another thing I picked up from Broken Boxer Repair, I talked to them about since my stock turbo was blown because of the, the bearing material, like the small bearing uh, particles, were in that old one so it was pretty much had to be rebuilt i was like why why rebuild the stock td04 when i could upgrade to an sdi turbo so i ended up picking up a vf43 uh, turbo from them they rebuilt it and balanced it for making good power i ended up getting that for 620 dollars from them it's a little little pricey but for what it is it's a good turbo it's a 2006 sti turbo so it should make some good power for this car once i'm done with the braking tune Another item I decided to replace, which isn't necessary, but I did because uh, I thought they were kind of worn out, was my engine mounts. I ended up going with the STI Group N engine mounts from Rally Sport Direct. They were $150, and they're really good quality. Pretty much all the hardware you need is just what you take off the old ones. So you just swap them out and put them onto your block, and they look good. Nice, uh, good material, and should help keep your engine a little bit more stable. So another very important piece to this rebuild process was a rebuild gasket kit that includes all the gaskets for your whole engine, which was the MLS rebuild gasket kit, I believe it was, off of Amazon, 140 bucks. Pretty good deal. Uh, everything looks to be good quality, all of it fit. It actually had some extra stuff that I didn't know was in there that I ended up ordering before. If you had the funds, I would just get the OEM head gaskets instead of the ones that come in the kit. So to finish up my whole rebuild process, I ended up picking up uh, Cobb Access Port V3, the Sub-001 for that fits for these cars for 400 bucks. So a pretty good deal when they're usually like six, 650. And then I got a base map break and tune from Brand Tuning in Massachusetts that was 150 bucks. All of it's a uh, pretty good quality of what they do. They really let you know everything that you're getting. You tell them everything that's done to the car and they create a custom tune for you, send it out and you download it on your Access Port and install it in the car. We have a video on all this stuff, the whole process of everything. So again, go check out the playlist that is up above that we showed earlier, and you can see this whole process done throughout the whole time we did this. That should wrap everything up for this car. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything of that I had to spend to get this car running after five months. So in total of everything I had to spend to get this car up and running again after five months, uh, we did leave a couple things out, it's all in the description below, it was $6,100. It's a lot of money. I. It's more than I paid to buy the car. In my brain, uh, with how clean the underbody of this car is, it, it felt worth it because I like the car and now it's pretty much brand new. If I can just keep the frame in good tact, then it's a brand new 2004 Super WX and I have a lot of plans for it. Can't wait to 
to show you guys what we do in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Peace out and stay with it.